Hey there. Repairing Beat Saber to Synth Riders is like Bionicle and Hero Factory. I just realized they're made by the same company, so that makes the analogy pointless. Alright, I've had this game in my library for over a year and I've just started playing it. Synth Riders is a rhythm game set in an 80s synthwave aesthetic that encourages you to dance, and by dance I mean make you look like an idiot. At first it looks like it's just a copy of Beat Saber, I mean sure, shape half color, hand half color, make hand color match with shape color, it didn't work, swap hand color, okay it works now. There's these yellow ones where you have to put both hands together, oh yeah and for green you just use one hand. There's also walls you have to dodge, as well as these rails that feel cool. However, unlike Beat Saber where you slice blocks in a certain direction, in Synth Riders you have balls, and you need your hands to touch these balls. Wait. Can we just talk about the variety of music? We got Synthwave, we got Electro Swing, we got Punk Rock, we got Lindsey Sterling's music which is a genre of its own. Beat Saber. <laughs> Pay attention. I already bought the Caravan Palace pack and if they keep this up I don't think they should play with my wallet anymore. There's also more game modes. Outside of the basic rhythm mode, there's spin mode that has no show up in multiple directions. There's force mode where you force your movements. I find wrist flicks to be very useful for this. There's spiral mode where you have to lean towards the notes. It almost feels like it could be a Wii Fit minigame. And these modes are on every song. However, on some select songs there's experiences which are trippy, but the good kind of trippy. And it's a workout. <laughs> Sure, you could stand still and act like a robot, but once you read the patterns, get into the flow of the map, and let yourself loose, it goes from, yeah, okay, to, holy crap, I'm moving? It got me like an inflatable at a car dealership. It really takes advantage of the quest being wireless. I like to do a little spin at the end. As for complaints, I really haven't found that much. Outside of just fi finding it difficult to get a consistent score, and I think I might damage my headset's lenses with my sweat just by playing this game. Okay, I got it. Comparing Beat Saber and Synth Riders is like an apple and an orange. They're both fruit, but tell me, have you ever heard of an Apple Julius?